Hatshepsut, of course, is very well known by everybody. She's one of the most famous queens or kings of ancient Egypt. And Hatshepsut is a, a really amazing study. Um, she is, of course, a female, which is not common for ancient Egypt, practically unknown. And she came into power because her stepson slash nephew was probably only about five years old when his father died. And so Hatshepsut was in the beginning reigning as regent until Thutmose III could take the throne himself, until he came of age. Hatshepsut decided at some point around years five to seven that she in fact wanted to rule as pharaoh and went along a campaign, if you will, of changing the way she represented herself in statuary and in relief, and in a huge building program to demonstrate her new position as pharaoh, as king of Upper and Lower Egypt, depicting herself, of course, as a man. We have numerous statuary that show this transition of the female queen regent to the male king. And Hatshepsut, is really renowned, of course, for her major expeditions to Punt and for her major building activities, Darabahri being the most obvious, but a lot of work at Karnak, some also at Luxor Temple, on the procession leading to Luxor Temple. And many of her officials were involved in these projects and talk about that in their tombs. Eventually, we know that sometime around year 2122, that Moza III comes to the throne. We don't know exactly what happened to Hatshepsut. Did she die? Did she step down? Was she pushed aside? We don't have the documentation, we just don't know. So this is an interesting thing about the reign of Hatshepsut, and it's something which scholars have studied and uh, changed their opinions about over the years. Initially, of course, it was understood or interpreted that when Thutmose the III came to power, he was angry with his stepmother slash aunt and went around erasing her image and her name and tearing down all of her monuments. And that this was very much the, the act of the angry, young, you know, king kind of thing. And now, through a lot of more study and understanding of construction and of how Karnak changed, in fact, particularly, we have a much more nuanced, more realistic view of what happened, which is that for the first 20, 30 years of Thutmose of the Third's sole reign, he didn't do anything. He built his own stuff. He may have altered some of her monuments like in Karnak, but it wasn't a, a plan to tear her image and her memory, erase her memory. This only came at the very end of his reign. The Mosa III was concerned, perhaps, that his son become the next king, and he didn't want anyone of Hatshepsut's family line to have a claim to power. In order to ensure that his own son would become king, he went around destroying her image. 